From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it looks like rain chances going up, but at least the threat of heavy flooding rainfall staying to our west or north, but it's getting closer in some of the latest models. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a bit and still a situation we have to monitor. But meanwhile, uh, the big story, big ridge of subtropical ridge of high pressure over by the Bahamas. Uh, that is keeping most of the storms just to the west of us. And we got this trough and cold air in the west and the battle zone setting up with a very active subtropical jet stream that comes out of the Pacific and then runs through the nation's midsection. And this is the way it's going to play out for days with the threat of heavy rains from Texas all the way up through the Midwest and already have some flooding issues in the Midwest. So this is going to be adding more fuel to the fire, unfortunately, there. As we look at the radar satellite composite, we see that rainfall through the nation's midsection. Uh, colder air, we have a wintry mix on the backside of this system, and it has been an interesting go of it so far across portions of the lower 48. Now, locally, the heaviest rains uh, up toward the Arklatex. This is going to be the trouble zone into Arkansas and perhaps the northern part of uh, Louisiana down the line. And meanwhile, locally, just a few isolated showers showing up on some of the regions. Doppler radar is not much going on, but uh, we might see a few passing showers overnight tonight through tomorrow. As we examine the big picture, look at the temperature re regime late this afternoon. 20s in Oklahoma City, 200 miles away in Dallas. It was 72, but that front has made it through the DFW area now in the mid 40s. But we have 20s here. 70s here, so you see that battle zone lining up for the risk of showers and storms over the next several days. For us, it's going to stay mostly cloudy. Latest future cast run, I'm not trusting too much. It gets awfully uh, busy and jittery, but we will see a risk of scattered showers and storms. Highest rain chances to the west, and this is the part where I'm not sure how it's going to play out, indicating some of those storms try to work their way east and give us a good soaking by this time tomorrow evening. Uh, but this model run is much much different than what we've been seeing over the last successive run. So uh, this may be an anomaly, but uh, we do got a plan for better rain chances developing and going into Thursday. Uh, we think we'll still see scattered activity uh, a little bit more than what the model is indicating, but we resume pretty much a warm pattern. Still the risk of scattered showers going into Friday with that heavy rain axis staying to our north and west. Now, as we look at the latest RPM Doppler totals, I don't think it has that latest RPM model run in it. No, not not quite yet, uh, but heavier rain amounts one, two inches or more possible just to our north and west. Look at this. We have this stripe of yellow on the map here, and that corresponds to five to eight inches of rainfall, even more off to our north and west as we look at the uh, European model, at least through Friday, not going for much rain, but there are areas shaded in purple, which pushes two inches of rainfall, but the big rains off to the north and east. If we integrate uh, the precipitation through the weekend, especially up through the Arklatex, five to eight inches of rain or more to get into the pink. That's pushing 10 inches of rain, so some serious flooding possible anywhere Texas up through Arkansas and perhaps all the way up through the Midwest as we go through the rest of this week and into the weekend as well. So uh, examining uh, one other item that we do have to talk about and address, there might be a marginal risk of a few severe storms Wednesday, primarily eastern Texas, northwestern Louisiana for a couple of storms that could have uh, some rotation that could produce wind damage, perhaps an isolated tornado. Temperature wise, Hard to believe 70. That's it for the low tonight. Near 80 for the high tomorrow once again. And once again, like today, wind staying a little breezy overnight and then getting gusty tomorrow late morning through the afternoon hours. So overnight tonight, we're looking at lows down to near 70 with a few storms by morning. We'll go with a 60% chance of showers and storms tomorrow. Lower rain chances east, much higher rain chances in the extreme western portions of Acadiana. And for now, we'll just keep rain chances in the forecast and keep an eye on the weather situation, but I'm not expecting heavy rain nor severe weather at this point. Cooler temperatures, though, should arrive by Sunday. All right, thanks, Rob. And